Man, what's the opposite of the Holy Grail? The cursed toilet? Because this might be it. This might be the worst musical instrument ever made. Today, I'm going on a musical instrument spending spree, but I'm doing it on Wish.com. And if you don't know, Wish.com is kind of like the dollar store version of Amazon. You're not gonna find a whole lot of quality there, but you're also not gonna spend a whole lot of money. So I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of super cheap gear and see what kind of music I can make with it. Maybe I'll find some great deals, or maybe I'll just end up with a heaping pile of musical trash. Either way, let's go shopping. Now, being the samurai guitarist, I feel like the first thing I need to buy is a Wish.com guitar. This one looks as good as any. It's $191 for an unfinished DIY, put it together yourself kit. This is what I'm talking about, let's do it. And you gotta love this, when I put it in my cart, it showed me a bunch of other things on the website that it thought I might be interested in, and uh, one of these things is not like the other. Now, I'm thinking I'd like to make a song using only the stuff I buy, so I gotta make sure I'm fulfilling all those musical roles. Of course, we're gonna need drums, and with a name like Fashion Professional Roll-Up Drum Pad Kit Silicon Foldable with Stick Portable Drum Electronic Drum USB Drum New, you can't go wrong, can you? $39, I'm sold. I'm gonna need to run my guitar into something. The Amoom Pock Rock Multi Effects Pedal seems like it'll do the trick, though it's an interesting choice putting an acoustic guitar on an ad for an electric guitar pedal. But hey, $37 is a tenth of the price of many pedals that I've bought, so uh, let's buy it. Glow in the dark bass strings. Smooth, anti-rust, and it says right here, they won't cut your hands. They provide you with the perfect musical experience. I've always wanted to experience the perfect musical experience. So $10, yep, yeah, that's gonna do. Oh man, I need this. Uh, you ever wanna look like a guitar player? Many of us have. You ever wanna look like a guitar? Not as many of us have, but I feel like that's a pretty cool fashion choice. $10, can't go wrong. Definitely gonna buy this one. I don't think I've ever owned a kazoo. I don't even know if I've ever played a kazoo. So for $10.46, I'm going to change that. Okay, I expected to find some cheap stuff here. I did not expect to find a contact mic for $6. It's gotta be just terrible, but that's kind of what we're doing here. So uh, let's definitely buy it. All right, here is an electronic keyboard piano that says it comes with a microphone. It's got a bunch of buttons, so I guess it does a bunch of things. Um, it's $25 and has a whopping 1.5 star average review. So even for that cheap price, people still think it sucks. All signs point to this not being a great place to spend my money. Buy it now. Hey, a melodica. These are kind of like bagpipes meets piano. It's $27. These are kind of cool, so it's going in the cart. And last, I'm gonna splurge a little bit here. The steel tongue drum is $49, making it the second most expensive thing next to the guitar. I've heard these things played before. They're super cool. Let's add it to the cart and check out. And it looks like my grand total is about $400. I feel like if I went to the music store, this would easily cost $2,000 plus. It says it's gonna arrive in a couple weeks. So now we just play the waiting game. Now before my stuff shows up, I'll quickly let you know that the back to school sale is now on over my course platform, samuraiguitartheory.com. Over there, I've got five courses that offer a deep dive into the system I use for making music. If you wanna understand the building blocks of music theory and how it works for guitar, my courses, The Rudiments and Beyond the Basics are made with you in mind. I've also got two courses that dive specifically into soloing. The Craft of Soloing looks at phrasing and musical storytelling, while my newest course, The Style of Soloing, is a look at the fancy stuff you can add to your solos to bring them to life. Everything over there is professionally animated to make the tough stuff easy to understand and there are interactive elements to help you learn. And for a limited time, you can get any individual course half off with promo code back to school 22 or use that same promo code on any of the bundles to get two courses for the normal price of one. You can find more information at samurai-guitar3.com. I'll also put the links in the description. Anyways, let's get back to it. All right, some time has passed. As you can see, my goods have all shown up. Let's go through this haul. First off, we've got the DIY guitar, and when it showed up in my house, it was in pieces. And if you've ever wondered what all the individual parts of a $191 Chinese guitar kit look like, here you go. I got Samurai Dad to put it together because that's more his thing than mine. Everything seems in order. I think let's just put it through the amp and see what it sounds like. It works, everything about it feels cheap, doesn't sound great, and the small spacing of it messes with my muscle memory. If it was $100, I'd say that this is a good deal. 
200 bucks, not so much. I've now plugged into the $37 Pock Rock multi effects pedal. It's all pretty self explanatory. I power it up, so we're off to a decent start here. Here's the clean sound. And then we can add some stuff like reverb. And how about some chorus? A trim. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's check out some of these distortion sounds. This one, I believe, is labeled Overdrive. Let's try the fuzz. And here's metal with some phaser on it. This was only $37, and I feel like it definitely punches above its weight class. I would go as far as saying that I would have spent $42.75 on this and still felt like I got my money's worth. Next up, we got the $10 guitar shirt. Well, I ordered a men's large, and granted I may have gained a little bit of weight recently, I don't think I bulked up this much. It's already started to rip. The sizing is completely fucked. That is $10 down the drain. I guess that's just the way she goes sometimes. All right, I've just about got my bass strung up with these multicolored strings, and the big question's gonna be, do they glow in the dark? I'm gonna go ahead and say that they 100% do not. It seems like everything is glowing except the strings. Moving on, we've got this drum pad thing. It's got pedals here that you put on the floor. Hi-hat, kick. Then you use your trusty old drumsticks to hit the pads, giving you the sounds of a drum kit, like this. So the problem I'm finding with this is it doesn't sit flush on the surface, so when you hit one of the pads with a stick, it causes it to trigger a bunch of times. However, if I chuck my sticks into the audience and just use my hands, it actually works pretty well. One point five star, $25 keyboard. Let's play a C on it and see what it sounds like. Well, you can't play chords on it, and it's also way louder than I expected. And uh, it doesn't seem to have any knobs on it to control the volume. All it has is this one switch, which does not turn it on or off. It does not appear to do anything. Whoa, how did that happen? The one in the picture had a bunch of knobs and stuff on it. Everything on this is just painted on. And it just says here for some reason, thanks baby. You're welcome. I'm also wondering if this is even in tune. Nope, way flat. So that's completely useless in any musical setting. For my song, I'm just gonna have to use this as like a sound effect or something. And it feels just so incredibly cheap. Man, what's the opposite of the Holy Grail? the cursed toilet, because this might be it. This might be the worst musical instrument ever made. And wasn't it supposed to come with a microphone too? All right, let's move on to the $6 contact mic here. I'm gonna read the package for you. It says, it is suitable for all the musical instruments. For traditional instrumenter, it can be used as good quality sound output. It is better than normal reordering studio and it is the best choice for DIY CD of players. I got a feeling that English might not be the native tongue here. It feels quite cheap though. Sticky thing does feel quite adhesive-y. So because of that, I'm gonna put on the pick guard of my cheapest acoustic guitar. That is actually substantially better than I expected. Unfortunately, if you bump it, it picks up the sound and it's in a very bumpable place. I don't think I'd want to put it anywhere else on the guitar as it would probably peel off the finish, but uh, all things considered, not bad for six bucks. $10 wood kazoo. <laughs> Tastes a bit funny, smells a bit funny, but it does what I expect it to do, so that's acceptable. What else we got here? Oh, the melodica. <laughs> You know, it actually feels relatively well built and it sounds decent. However, does this chord sound in tune to you? And last, we have the steel tongue drum. Let's give it a whirl. And hey, 
That's great. I love this. It sounds amazing and is laid out in a way so that you start gravitating towards some fun stuff. Yeah, big fan of this one. Well done. And for better or worse, there you have that is my $400 wish.com musical haul. Now what I'm going to do is take this stuff and use only this stuff to create a song. Whatever you hear next is whatever I come up with. Here are my thoughts on this experiment. You get what you pay for. The tongue drum is the only thing that I could ever see myself using again. I guess it was kind of fun to try to use this stuff in a musical setting, but it also was quite challenging. There were times where I wanted to use a certain sound, but instead I was stuck with the world's worst piano. You get what you pay for. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, making music with some super cheap Wish.com musical gear. Remember that the Back to School sale is now on over my course platform, SamurainGuitarTheory.com. You can use promo code BACKTOSCHOOL22 to get any individual course half off or use it on one of the bundles. You get two courses for the normal price of one. Links as always in the description. Thank you all for watching. An extra big thank you to everyone who supports my channel through Patreon. If you wanna check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.